everybody, bonjour, welcome to the kitchen. Um, I'm here today with a quick recipe. Um, I had it started earlier actually, but the chocolate was taking a really long time to melt and I didn't want to um, yeah, have you there watching chocolate melt. <laughs> kind of like watching paint dry. Anyhow, um, I'm here with a cherry blossoms recipe. Super quick when your chocolate cooperates and super easy. Um, you can make it with the kids, just watch them with the stove. Um, in my pot, I have, it called for, some recipes called for milk chocolate, some call for semi-sweet. Um, so I used, um, what about a cup of milk chocolate? This is just our compliments. I use a cup of the decadent by the present choice. Oh, we got Sophie's and Dominion against each other now. Um, and then I also used a two cups of Reese's peanut butter chips. My sister found these at Costco. I think they were $9.99. Um, excellent for Christmas crack and different things. Um, yeah. Um, so what I did was I put about this much water in the bottom of my pot. I laid my measuring glass on top. Uh, it fit really well inside so that there's not too much steam coming off. If you don't have a measuring cup to sit on top, you can absolutely use another pot. Um, and you want to do this because chocolate burns rather quickly. And uh, yeah, you want to keep an eye on it to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. And so, yeah, so we just got that in here and we're just melting it together and I'm just about there now. Um, and what I'm going to do next is, I'm actually going to turn that down, turn it off. I think I'm going to turn it right off actually. Now, to this, I am going to add a cup full of fine unsweetened coconut, really, really, really fine, see that? So that's gonna go in here, along with a cup full of ground nuts, some call for pecan, some call for peanuts, uh, whatever you have on hand. I had some ground hazelnuts there, I had some honey roasted peanuts, and I had some pecans. So I ground them all up together, and I'm going to add that too. Now, we're going to stir that together for step two. And you'll see in my baking pan there, I have um, just some paper liners. I think they're Wilton. Um, and uh, yeah, they're just great. You can, if you don't have any liners, you can absolutely spray your thing, but the liners make them nice and easy to take out. Now, just like that, we got a nice looking mixture. I'm gonna take my measuring cup out of there now. Oh, and I'm gonna lay it just in front of me. And what we need to do now is put a teaspoon or so in each of these cups. I'm only doing that now because I want it off. I want it off the water. <laughs> Us new Newfoundlanders adding S's wherever they don't belong. My students in Inuvik used to make fun of me for that. Did you add S's to everything? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's how I was born. Now, you can see how nice, it's like a nice thick uh, mixture. Let's see, there. I'm going to put about a teaspoon in the bottom of each one of these cups. Actually, no, probably in about 24. <laughs> We'll see, um, I think it makes about 50. I want, I want to put my, I want, <laughs> I want to put my finger in there, but I'm afraid it's hot, but no, it's not too bad. Okay, that'll make it easier. So, yeah, about a teaspoon right in the bottom. Oh, maybe I can fill them all up, that's not too bad. Keep going. Not sure if you guys got your Christmas baking started. Um, the only thing I got made is my fruit cake. Um, I don't like to make too many cookies and stuff ahead of time because I don't know. I just don't like them in the freezer for too long. 
fresh is best, in my opinion, as you know. So yeah, these are so simple. Like, all I'm going to do now, once I get all these in here, is, um, yeah, place a maraschino cherry on the top and then some more mixture and that's it, we're done. How quick and simple is that? And they look wonderful and they taste delicious. Well, at least the ones mom made last year did. <laughs> I actually didn't even make these last year. Too busy making other videos. <laughs> it's a nice quiet day here today. I managed to catch the sun rise earlier, which was very nice. Now you know what's going to have to happen here. I'm going to have to lick my finger in a second. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't lick my finger because I got to put more on the top. Um, and this is saying put a teaspoon. I got to be honest, it looks like I have uh, a lot more chocolate here. So I'm actually going to put a little extra in some just so that the cherry doesn't come out through the bottom. I don't know, maybe, maybe it would make a lot more. Who knows? I'll soon find out. There. Here, I'm just gonna take a paper towel. I know, sin, not to lick that off, but I can't lick my finger now and put my finger back in the chocolate and somebody else is gonna eat it, besides my husband. <laughs> So, no, no, no. Anyhow, now, what I do need to do now is take a plate with a little bit of paper towel on here. And I have maraschino cherries. My sister got these at Costco. I believe she paid like five bucks maybe, which is an awesome deal. Now, I gotta try not to get that in my bowl as well because the, the water might ruin the chocolate. So we're just going to take one cherry and we're going to, um, yeah, just place it in the center. Ooh, they look nice already. And off center. And I think you just have to um, dry them in a paper towel a little bit in order for the chocolate to adhere like on the top and everything too. My goodness, they look so festive like I'm sure you could just kind of leave them like that if you had to. Oops. I'm not gonna use the broken one. That's like cheating somebody. <laughs> Ripped off on a cherry blossom. <laughs> I do love maraschino cherries though. And I'm super impressed at uh, how easy are these to make? Like seriously. Nice thing to do with the kids on an afternoon. Doesn't need to be for Christmas. Could absolutely be for a birthday party. Heck, you can make them for Halloween if you want to. No rules in Nanny's kitchen. I can't wait to see the kids uh, Halloween. I hope I get a few trick-or-treaters. I don't usually get many, but when I do, I love to see them. Now, what I need to do now is take the rest of this and put it on top. And I don't know, but I, I look like I'm going to have enough for more. So I think somebody's instructions were off somewhere. <laughs> But that's okay, more the merrier. That means I get to eat more. Ooh, maybe I could do those video someday, those eat more birds, those are pretty good. Anytime, um, you guys, if you had a request or you wanted me to do a certain recipe or you were unsure, you were looking for some, I mean, write it in the comment, post it on the wall, um, send me a message, whatever. It's all good. I'm going to be dying to taste one of these when they're done. Um, they're supposed to go in the fridge, but I don't know if they're um, 
once I get this on, I don't know if it's going to be completely set off. We'll see. Before you know it, now they'll be playing the Christmas music, and oh my. All I say is, please let them have Remembrance Day first. <laughs> it's a very important day. My goodness, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to uh, smooth these out. There was another recipe I saw too, and it called for graham crumbs, and then you would cool them and roll them and then dip them in chocolate. And I totally would have done that for you, but by the time you melt the chocolate to dip the balls and cool it all, and you know, it just would have been way too much time. I'm surprised at how much extra I have here in my measuring cup. I'm actually going to, when I finish this bunch, cut my video up and go ahead and line another tray. And uh, yeah, get those done. I'm not sure how many is in this tray. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 14, 16. So that's 28 in that tray. Um, I thought it was only gonna make 25 and look, have tons left so I'm absolutely going to try to make another 25 so that will give me 50 and uh, yeah that sounds wonderful so yeah I, I this is it for my recipe we're going to yeah I'm just going to push this over top so they don't look like blobs of you know what <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm going to put them in the fridge then to cool and I'm thinking they're going to be delicious. They sure look delicious. I wish I could try one, but again, it's not completely set up, so I can't. But I can lick my finger now because I'm going to wash my hands to get another tray. Oh, and I can eat this little bit of cherry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it does taste like a cherry blossom. Anyhow, <laughs> I got quite a mess here now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll give it a little try. And, um, yeah, happy baking. I'll be back soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>